Assalamu alaikum fam, hope you're doing well. So, continuing my deep dive into the constitution of the Jesuit Society of the Catholic Church. So, the Order of the Followers of Jesus, Society of Jesus, written in the 15th century. As you know, I'm a giant nerd and I find this highly educational in order to understand their religion. This particular order, and to have proper conversations, one must be educated and not just repeat talking points of others who they themselves have not actually uh, done any research or scholarly types of diving. Now, what's interesting is that so far I've learned, as we know, the well, the vows, there's the three main vows and then there's the extra vow. So there's the vow of obedience, poverty, chastity, then the fourth vow is obeying the sovereign pontiff. So when you take the vow, you vow to be linked to and obey, right, the present or future sovereign pontiff. The pontiff is seen as the vicar of Christ. You are to go anywhere he commands um, among the infidels or the faithful, and you cannot plead for any excuses to go anywhere else. Now, they talked about different classes of members. So essentially, there's four classes of the members of the Society of Jesus, and the first class um, they're all to be priests in their profession, and they take all four vows, which was interesting. They're to be tested at length in their life and habits, and then they're to be priests before their profession. So their religion comes first. And there was also a cool point about how uh, they need to be in conformity. Uh, all, all four classes of members... They need to say all three vows, and they need to be in conformity with the bull of Julius the Third um, principles, essentially, which I found interesting. Then there was another point here that the second class, what they're going to do is they're going to be received to become cogitors who serve as God's aid. And also, well, they serve God, and then they're an aid to the Jesuit society in both spiritual and temporal matters. So the word codature, I looked it up, it is a bishop appointed to assist a diocesan bishop and usually becomes his successor. So if you're in the second class, you're going to essentially become a bishop and you're going to be trained by that bishop and be his replacement. So the first class is the priests, which is interesting. Now, even more nerdy is the second class doesn't make the fourth vow of obedience to the Pope or any other solemn vow. They just have the main three. And that the second class needs to be content with their grade. Now, that was really interesting because it really pushes them, it says, to have love of divine majesty and that they should be happy with greater moments or more lowly and humble ones and that they need not complain about their position. So, so far that's the first and second class of the gist of what they do. And so I found that interesting and hopefully you learn something.